She goes, my mom is Wonder Woman. And then the parent would look at me strangely, not recognizing me, and I would go, <laughs> you know, every mother is a Wonder Woman. <laughs> everybody and welcome to mom skin wine too today we are drinking on a cabernet so this let me tell you something this is my first time well i'm lying out i'm not gonna lie this i'm really not a white red wine type of girl so this i want to try something new and we are drinking josh cabernet so this is a red wine and I already taste tested it. I should have recorded my first reaction, but I actually really, really like it. So it looks like we got a winner, guys. So if y'all wanted to try a red wine, this would be your friend, okay? And don't mind um, the, uh, <laughs> the headphone because I cut my hair. If y'all not watching, go see. Um, we bob into this. Just bob twin. <laughs> but yeah we bobbing today so back to the wine so i looked this stuff up but i got to drink it more to see like if it's true for real but they said that the taste is more sort of like a blackberry hazelnut cinnamon taste so if you're that kind of girl that like it's like i would say it's really calm like it's just a calm kind of taste um and you can pair this wine with beef pork lamb or if you like um chocolate desserts i'm not a fan of chocolate cracking i know but i don't like chocolate i'm not, I'm not. Uh, they say because my mom when she was pregnant uh, with me she that's the only thing she ate y'all know how they be saying those people um but she was saying that's the only thing she ate when she was pregnant with me so it's like now I, at my grown age i don't eat chocolate like please don't give me chocolate gross um but yeah I'm not a fan of chocolate so but this wine specifically can be paired with your chocolate and oh listen y'all this is something really cool we could try around christmas it said a red wine hot chocolate they use this for a red wine hot chocolate so probably around christmas time we're gonna spin a black back on jazz here and try that red wine hot chocolate so yeah let's uh go ahead and move on because i have some stuff to tell y'all so like i told y'all last episode i was going on a cabin trip the getaway cabin if you don't know it's like little cabins that they have you can go in solitude most people go with their the uh, significant order other that they're with like i decided to go by myself and well it was the most beautiful experience like Oh, I just want to cry thinking about it. I don't know why it was so like, at first I was really nervous because y'all knew, like, if you were, if you don't know me, I am like a hypochondriac. I'm going to think like, bro, somebody's going to fucking kidnap me if I'm by myself on the trip. Like, it's, it's he is real. But I'm a guy for a woman, so I know God got my side, right? So I was okay. But eventually when I got there, I saw that uh, the, cabins, the cabins are really like not that spaced out. Uh, so it was a lot of people like almost every cabin was occupied and people was you know outside sitting outside so I really got comfortable I was like wow this is great but it's still like you know with some like your cabin is by yourself so I got there y'all um and y'all it was just the sweetest like the sweetest experience I was well I am I'm I decided to do it uh at least once a month I'm gonna go on a trip by myself to the cabin once a month and basically like a self-reflection trip see y'all i needed that because the day before not even the day about few hours before girl it was a mess like when i tell y'all my impulsive decisions put me in a pickle even though i had a time like me and my friends we had a motherfucking time recording basically yeah basically i went to a party y'all and it was a hot ass mess a motherfucking shit show but I still had a time. So that's what matters. Um, we're going to get in, into that today, though, about um, being outside. But back to the cabin trip. Um, what did I tell y'all last time? Like, I was going for a self-reflection. Uh, I did a lot of video diaries. Um, basically, I did some questions in the book. Like, went in the back of the book, of course, because uh, I wanted the first, of course, our pages to uh, coincide and, you know, just, you know, be fresh. So um, I just uh, did a lot of video diaries just talking to myself and I was like, whoa, like I was just, you know, I get on here and ramble, but in that space, it was so beautiful, y'all. It was so different being around nature in a way. Um, I was just, uh, 
y'all it was so fucking beautiful like i wish i could take everybody on the trip like they'd be like y'all see why y'all so mean really like vibe <laughs> like vibe to it just vibe because it was a great it was a great experience i most definitely would do it again um what else i want to update y'all about um my oh my gosh y'all my she is getting big as hell and she be tripping like lately she learned this little exotic cry and she's been like fake wheezing so you know like oh well if you don't know like kids be doing anything so it's just like bro i'm finna pluck you in your forehead because stop you finna stress me out i'm thinking i'm gonna like, take it to the hospital and guess what as soon as you take a child to the hospital Everything that was wrong at home is gone, girl. They fine. So you sitting there looking crazy in front of people. But I'm like, girl, I just heard this girl wheezing about 30 minutes ago. Please don't, don't miss me off. Like, for <laughs> But nah, um, my, she's just getting big, y'all. And, oh, boy, I can't prepare myself. Like, it's just crazy watching her. She trying to, well, she is trying to walk, but she's, like, scared to stand up by herself. So I'm like, girl, just vibe, twin. Just vibe. Like, stand up. What are you scared of? Like, girl, she's hilarious, though. I love her. Like, that's my twin for real, y'all. And I can only imagine when she get older how this shit can be. Because, oof, is she anything like me? Yeah, I'm going to just have to sit back and watch. Because at that point, I ain't even a mama no more she is. <laughs> I mean, hey, y'all going to see. When y'all get to that stage, if y'all, they already off y'all past it, y'all know what I'm talking about, baby. They is reckless. Oh, reckless. It's crazy, girl. But I love my twin. Uh, I can't wait till her first birthday. We're playing the next. It's going to be real cute, real vibey. So um, if you're not experiencing that first birthday area, y'all, it's, it's crazy. Like, you looking back like, bro, I just pushed this baby out of my day. Like, it's crazy. But anyways, that's um, really all I had to update y'all about. Like, the trip. 10 out of 10 i, I oh i want to say if you guys do want to um see my video diaries it's only if y'all want to see it like because i was really talking and i was talking about you know stuff that was just popping up in my head but like more so on a vibe of like um it's like well like i said the day before was just yeah it was motherfucking insane like it was so crazy i keep cackling about it but it was, it was just crazy. Um, but if y'all do want to see my video diaries, just let me know in the comments. Y'all, okay, y'all want it, y'all want it, y'all want it. I'm going to give it to y'all. I'm going to probably put it on a different app. It's called Patreon. I think we're going to start tapping into that because a lot of podcasters get on there. You know, some bonus content. And I need y'all to get a little more engagement because you guys are still very shy. And here we are at episode three. I need those emails rolling in, ladies, okay? If y'all had these, if y'all sitting here listening, tell me what y'all got to say. We got stories to share. Trust me, I don't think you're going up doing it alone. Like I promise you, we probably all experiencing the same thing, just different levels, different fonts, and different categories. Okay, so don't be scared. So now, on to the topic of the day, we are talking about being outside, looking for the hoes. Hey, shake that. <laughs> i'm playing y'all but no we all talking about being outside and that is because i feel like being a new mom especially a young new mom like people are so judgy when it comes down to you living your life and having fun like come on one thing about me well no let me backtrack because i didn't really have fun like i was very like Ugh. like i dipped my toe in the water and then dipped my toe in the water and back up so I really wasn't the type to be really be outside until not even until I moved to Houston. Because when I um, first moved moved to Houston, two months later, I met my girl dad. Like, uh, and we was in a relationship since what, about three years now. And then what, two years, a year and a half later, we had her. So I was really not like experiencing outside for real. So um, it was just a lot. Like I said, dipping my toe in that water. But boy, boy, boy. It's a couple of months, y'all. I've been swimming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been on the swim team for sure, for sure. Like, I, it's been it's been crazy, but it has been the best experience. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> y'all, it's been real crazy. Yeah, I really don't know why they be trying to beat people up about experiencing life because you have a kid. Like, like I told y'all, first episode, and I told y'all, baby didn't stop nothing but a period, period. Like, 
period. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't stop anything. Like, like I said, she didn't do anything but jumpstart me. And I feel like now, especially since she's young, she's a baby. Like, she, of course, she's observing what I'm doing and everything. But also, it's not as like, oh, I'm not going to say it as hands on because that sounds bad. Like, this is the most time, like, she needs me the most. But also, I feel like it's a different kind of need. Like, when she's older, she's going to be watching me, you know, being out and all that. And I feel like when I get to, when she's at that age and I'm in a different phase of life, I'm not trying to be doing what I'm doing now, you know. I'm trying to be, you know, what I will be. Mm-hmm will be talked about that last episode confidence baby i will be in my career field and you know handling my business so i want her to see a different kind of perspective but i also want her to see me still having fun like you can still handle your business and have fun at the same time so um but right now i ain't gonna lie y'all it's been crazy i've been outside like outside like outside literally outside this window that's i've been outside and I want y'all to know that you should never feel bad for wanting to be outside. Girl, you have a life to live. Um, being a mother is overwhelming. Like I told y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a thousand times. It's an overwhelming. And however you need that break, take it. Like, get your glass of wine, take your shot of Don Julio, whatever you need to do. You need to shake your ass on a headstand in the club. You could do that. Like, just don't let anybody take a picture of you now because then your kid going to be in middle school. Like, this your mama. Nah, I got to come there and scrap the little kids, but just have your fun and, you know, just y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? So when you'll be outside, like, just hit 10 toes, all right? Um, yeah, nah, that's crazy, but for real, have your fun, because I mean, your child, like, what are you, what are you going to say when you get older? It's like, damn, I had a baby in my life, and it's just bland, it's neutral, it's the color born. Like, hell no, nah. that baby don't give a fuck, baby. She I sleep, y'all. And let me tell you something, because people, um, I'm going to be real transparent about it. Like, when I do go out, I have sitters, right? And I have babysitters. Yeah. One thing I do make sure, though, my is sleep in her crib. Because my babysitter that come at nighttime, baby, she just dead. She getting paid to sit there. Because my is sleep trained. She sleeps through the night. So she really don't have to do any work. And I make, but I make sure I handle my business before I go out and be acting crazy. You get what I'm saying? It's balance. And there's no judgment at that. Like, don't ever, don't let nobody make you feel bad for that. Because guess what? At the end of the day, my business is handled. And when, you know, people, when they get mad, they trying to shit on you, talking about, oh, wait, your baby, your baby, she sleep. Mind her damn business, like something you should be doing. What the fuck is you talking about? Nah, take this shot. Get out of my face. <laughs> I wanted to give y'all some encouragement about going back to work for the first time because. If you don't know, I do work in nightlife, and it is a girl. Y'all, that's a crazy ass job. Like, a lot. Of, ugh, I'm not going to say it's crazy. I say it's the least craziest of nightlife jobs, but it's still just a lot. Like, just dealing with drunk people is, ooh, my forte. It's not my, my cup of tea, but I still be, you know, keeping it right, keeping it right. Because um, when you get to learn, like, people when they drunk like it's different from learning your friends because like i know my friends but it's like random people that you keep constantly have to check up on it's like why do i have to check up grown ass no you cannot drink no more like baby you are drunk sit your ass down Fuck. and then people that be so rowdy like out here they be ready to fight like not me and i'm not saying no i never had no bad shit like that happen but it's just that like oh people get rowdy when they are drunk y'all and i'll never forget like uh, my first time going back to work, like it was a cool day. It was a, it was a cool. It wasn't too busy. It wasn't too crazy. But I was just, y'all, my nerves was on ten. Like having my mom. Uh, my mom was out here after I had my daughter for what, about two months, and so she was still here when I decided to go back to work for the first time. And y'all, I was hella fucking nervous. Like I could have thought it was a motherfucking hawk and that motherfucker watching the cameras. And then at one point, the camera had failed. Oh, Lord, I could have passed out, y'all. I was calling my mama like clockwork. I said, Mom, what's going on? And that motherfucker can't please put the camera back up before I pass out. Like, my nerves was on 10. I could barely check my tables, but I was good. It was good. It was just kind of being overdramatic because she had her mom, my mama, and my aunt. Like, even though her daddy, he's, he's do, he was doing a good job. <laughs> he was doing a good job, but I was still nervous. I was still nervous. So, uh, <laughs> Ah, that's crazy. 
But anyways, I um yeah, it's the first the first time leaving your baby is nerve wracking. Like, oh, let me say about my first trip. My first trip was for my birthday, y'all. So what I had her and made my birthday in October, so she was good while. Well, yeah, look, please don't judge me. My my mind not mine in right now. So it's probably what seven, six months. We going with that. Okay. So I went to Dallas. My issue, 24 hour trip. Me and my best friend, girl. Me and we had oh y'all, when I tell you motherfuckers, we woke up. I can tell you like, girl, we woke up. The debrief was serious. And the debrief was on the ride back to fucking Houston. Not at in Dallas. We couldn't debrief before we was at now. But y'all, we had time last night. <laughs> y'all just laugh and think about it because that was my first time really like being outside outside because my birthday weekend y'all know my 21st birthday girl i was drunk the whole weekend about five days straight um but it was fun my mama was here girl um uh, because i'll be quick to call my mama when they come down to me like being away from my for a long period of time like in the early stages i, I ain't trust nobody but my mama like mm -mm. I mean, low key to this day is like when I go on trips, like traveling for real, for real, my is gonna get shipped off to my mama. Okay, understood. So let me tell y'all that if y'all ever feel like um, y'all only have one person that y'all trust with y'all child for a long period of time, go with your gut feeling. Who cares about what anybody else have to say? I'm sorry. I'm one of them. I'm sorry. Like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk it over, like, with. Her father, of course, that's her dad. Like we come into mutual agreement, but at the end of the day, what I say, it goes. I'm her mama. I'm sorry. Fight me about it. Now we're gonna sit to that. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, back to my first night. Uh, my first trip. I went to Dallas. Um, then that whole weekend, I was celebrating my birthday, and after that, I mean, I was killing. I was truly. I was chilling for a while because it's the holidays. So. I was trying to be around her. You know, I went home to New Orleans, visiting my family. But when I went to New Orleans, uh, recently, oh, Mardi Gras, girl, my, y'all know my was my mama. She was posted. She grown now. My older baby, she don't really need me. All I got to do is pump and go. And guess what? And for my pumping mamas out there, don't feel ashamed, baby. Because before me, man, yeah, before I walk in that club, guess what? Well, honey, I need that in the car pumping. You damn skippy. And probably after I leave, I'm going to still be pumping in the bathroom. I don't care. Like, this mother life ain't stopping shit. Baby, we outside. You get what I'm saying? Guess what? And we riding till dawn. Riding till the dawn. Even on my wake up at six o'clock, I'm walking in the door at five forty five. What's up? Pancakes ready for your my pie. <laughs> y'all guys still know how to manage, man. Y'all, we young, bro. Even I'm like, I don't want to call people old. Either all my older women that are listening and have kids, like, bro, this is life. We only have one life to live. And you think you finna a baby should not slow you down. And, and, and I hate when people say that a baby's going to slow you down, slow you down. No, no, they're not, bro. That slowed them down. Don't listen to what they have to say. I'm telling you, I'm living my life. Like I said, we ride until it's going 545 in the morning, walking through the road, ride my pie, pancakes ready at 6 o'clock. In fact, you know what I'm And guess what? It's all about balance. Balance, okay? I'm going to have a tequila bottle on my head at 12.45 p.m. I mean, 12.45 a.m. on Sunday night. Then I'm going to have safety goggles at 11 o'clock in my chemistry lab because we're doing it. No, I would. Who finna fight me, buddy? Because we're doing it. Like, there ain't nothing wrong with being outside. And don't let these people tell you any differently because they just feel some type of way that you're able to be a bad bitch and do it all. Like, even though if you can't do it all, I'm not saying do it. Like, find you... And I'm like, okay, let me reiterate, because I don't want y'all to think outside is like being to the club, like, nah. Um, and also, it's like not just being in solitude, everything got to be so perfect, because um, it's so many different sides to it. Like, find something, your niche, like, what makes you feel great about yourself. Like, when I mean outside, I just don't mean shaky ass on the club and it was supposed to shit. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about you being outside and enjoying your time with your friends, your family, even by yourself, like your man or your men. Baby, well, I ain't knocking none of that. No. No, you got to know we ain't knocking the men with the E in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I just want y'all to have y'all fun because y'all deserve it. Like, uh, 
y'all deserve it, girl. Don't let these people fool you into making you feel like, oh, I can't have fun because I kid me. No, we ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, but I do want us to come up with some ideas. So uh, I mentioned before I went on a cabin trip or whatever, and I was thinking I wanted to host a cabin trip. So how do you ladies feel about that? If I hosted a cabin trip and we probably went, might, might not, maybe not one day. It depends on how long y'all could be away from y'all kids. Sometimes I can't be away from my for that long. Like, I'll be stressed out, but she is getting older and I want her to engage, you know, experience other people than myself. You get what I'm saying? So I got it. something. It was hard. It was hard to put that big bag on to say me out. She can't be around you all the time. Like, okay, that's fine. Whatever, whatever. So if we decide to go on the trip, uh, I want to, we're going to do a poll. We're going to vote um, to, fuck it, let's do it. I just made up my mind about it. We're going to do it. We're going to go on the trip together. Um, probably depending on how many people uh inquire about it, like we're gonna go. Um, we could either do like the bunk bed cabins or like everybody have their own cabin type shit. Like whatever y'all wanna do, we gonna do it. Let's do it. So, uh, women, what we gonna call it? Whining and dining in the woods. You like that? I like that. Well, I like that when y'all whining and dining in the woods. But nah, it's gonna be a real good trip. I want it to be like my first time in the cabin. Uh, we're gonna be doing some soul surfing. And we ain't gonna be shaking ass and listening to sexy real, y'all. Nah, that's not the time we are. So if you're trying to be on that time, stay at home. Oh, go to PT and don't nah, we're not on that trip. All right. We we switching we switching gears. Now maybe the the night after when we go back to the Houston. So we could turn up, but not that, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let me go ahead and move on. Um Cause I don't even know y'all. I really don't know how long today's episode is. I'm just talking. Uh, but I do y'all oh, the questions. Have did y'all did y'all write y'all shit and fucking during this last week? Because I I really like I said I really want y'all to be. We are growing women, so I need y'all to get into the answering these questions about yourself because we're doing it. Okay. Um. Now wait before I get to that. Is there something else I wanted to? Oh, drinking. So y'all know I have to have an educational segment, but um, part about whatever I'm talking about. So, so what most people do not know, mind you, y'all know I'm a breastfeeding mom. Um, about breastfeeding. Um, one day I'm gonna have a lactation consultant on here. One day we just that's what we strictly gonna talk about is breastfeeding. But today I just want to give some knowledge about it because most people don't know that you can drink when you breastfeed, like. I don't know who told y'all. Well, I know who told y'all who didn't. Who, who told you you couldn't, but you can. So, with that being said, though, um, it's really, like, really, you're supposed to drink in moderation. So, basically, like, let's say you go out to dinner, you want a little mocktail or some wine, you're usually supposed to eat your baby before you drink. So, that way, by the time your, pro your milk processes out and the baby is ready to eat again, the alcohol is going. Because it's not... I like the alcohol just sits in your titty, y'all. It, it's moving, it's moving. So y'all can have your little drinky drink. Don't be like me. And I don't know. Well, I, it, it it took over time. Like, it probably happened after my birthday. That's when I was going crazy, y'all. Like, real crazy. Y'all think I'm crazy? Nah, I don't, look, I ain't drink my wine today. Because I'm just... Mm. I'm trying to keep it cool. Because I ain't gonna lie. This wine be getting to a bit. And we ain't even got... Never mind, let me shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is why I be getting to me, so we're not going to drink that much today. But uh, what I was saying, y'all, see, every time, every episode, I'm going to have this say, this part right here where I can see it, my train of thought, because I'm being foolish. Just being foolish. But anyway, scratch that. Y'all can have y'all drink. Just drink in moderation and make sure, even if you, uh, still, if you don't feel comfortable, you can have your drink and pump pump right after so that way by the time your milk comes back again it's fresh like it just as long as you ain't drunk slop drunk slopping on the couch uh still dancing the sex radio head like nah that's not when you don't feature baby don't do that okay let's not do that um but yeah yeah the y'all okay y'all are fine y'all can drink and but don't drink and drive but you can drink and feature kid okay period so now let's go to our question for real um uh, I told you I was. We were gonna go in order. 
So for the people who are just now tapping into episode three, I need y'all to go back and listen to one and two so you can know what we're doing, but I'm gonna still give you a debrief, okay? So this part where I read a question out of the book and I want you guys to take five minutes, just five minutes to sit in the question before you answer it. So really just gather your thoughts, gather your ideas and how you feel and everything and answer the question. And how you answer that question means you can write about it, make a video diary, talk to yourself like me, just be a little psychopath for five minutes. It's cool. Whatever makes you, you know, groovy, groovy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, y'all, I'm playing. But anyways, let's go to our question. Our question is, what is your greatest fear? Ooh. Mm-hmm. What is my greatest fear? I, I, I actually want to answer that for y'all. What is my greatest fear? Uh, I told y'all, y'all y'all have been sitting for five minutes, but I look at the three questions already. But also, as I, after I went to my trip, y'all, mm-hmm. uh, I feel like a brand new bitch. So I would say my greatest fear is losing myself. And what I mean by that is losing who I am for the wrong reasons. That That's my greatest fear because at that point, that's how I know I failed myself. I failed my daughter. I failed my family um, because I'm not coming through. Like, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not, I'm not there for them. And that's who I am. Like, myself like i'm gonna be there i'm always be there for my family my friends my people like just showing up for them and that's my greatest fear y'all like just losing myself for the wrong reason like and when i mean the wrong reason like probably like um even though this is very typical for a woman but a man or not not feeling encouraged about a, a job or my career or just being successful like um like because you know that happens like when you feel like you're not successful enough you start to beat yourself up about it and that's not uh that's some i'm not gonna say it's out of your control but sometimes it is out of your control because what can you do you putting in the work is obviously another route for you to go on so i would say that's my greatest fear is losing the energy yes. bitch like all this all work i'm putting into this motherfucker here it's you better not go no goddamn well oh we gonna be scrapping for real i swear i swear yeah nah yeah, nah that yeah that's something i fear the most uh, it's just losing myself, losing my my place, my peace, losing my peace. Because when I lose my peace, I lose everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right there. So with that being said, I think today's episode is real short, y'all. And also mainly because my throat is really starting to hurt. I was talking, it's kind of dry. And I left my water in the car, so I know that the bitch hot out. So. But it's okay. We good. We going to get us some more water. Um uh, yeah, I, let me apologize again because I'm saying I can hear myself. That's why I got this long ass uh, fucking headphone on. But I can hear myself, y'all, and I sound just raspy. Um, so hopefully y'all forgive me for that because it's just been alright. Last week the microphone going in on today, I sound like me and two piece and it's good though. We good. <laughs> but cheers, we're gonna cheers to episode number three. Um, make sure y'all go subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you can find me on Apple Music. I say Apple Music, girl. I am not a rock. Uh, you can find me on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Radio, Radio, all kind of stuff. I still, I told y'all last time I was going to look, but I didn't. So this makes sure y'all go tap in. Uh, thank y'all again for listening for today. Yeah, I hope y'all are having an amazing time being on my phone. You're doing a great job. So see y'all next time. Bye.